same. So you can get another precept on that. Let's go to Revelation chapter one and eight. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Brothers and sisters, his name didn't change. Not yet. Not yet. His name didn't change. But a lot of people are saying, well, you know, I want to just call on this name. And you can call on that name. And you just do what you do. And you do. Well, you're not understanding uh, precept in the scripture. Because in order to obtain the new name which shall she be given, which at this point no man knows, you must be have upheld his name according to scripture, according to correct scripture, according to correct precept. Can we prove that? Yes, we can. Give me a moment here. Let's go to Revelation chapter 2. And we're going to jump down to verse 13. And a lot of people read this, but they don't really catch everything in it. I know thy works. And where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days where an Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. We're going back here, it says, I know thy works and where thy dwellest, and even where Satan's seat is, and thou Holdest fast my name and has not denied my faith. Okay. Let's jump down to uh, da, 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 da. let's jump down to 17. He that have an ear, let him hear. What the Spirit saith to the churches, to him that overcometh will I give to eat of hidden manna and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he hath received it. So in order to get this name, you had to be upholding his name according to scripture. According to correct scripture, what's in scripture, the precept, all the way back to the prophecy. But what I found out is that, which is interesting, people really hate the name Emmanuel. I mean, you you just, even if you even say like Emmanuel, just get the look on their face. They're like, get away from me. It's like, wow. Like, and then they blaspheme that name. Those that claim to be in the truth blaspheme the name Emmanuel. They say, get away from that mess. That's a bunch of mess. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And you hear their discourse and them trying to disprove it, and they just step all over themselves because they contradict everything they say. The name of Emmanuel is of Christ. Oh, no, it's not of Christ. It's about somebody else. Oh, you know, and then they come out with stuff like Yasha and the Dead Sea Scrolls, which doesn't even mean anything. And like almost every thing that they brought out is not correct according to scripture, Hebrew, or precept, or history. Now I'm talking about concerning this name. I'm not talking about all the other stuff that people might bring out because brothers and sisters do out, put out good works. But unfortunately, the only people that are really calling on the name Emmanuel are the people that are not in these camps. Now that's something strange right there. 
Because what, what it looks like to me is a complete biblical repeat. You had all these churches, you had all these Pharisees, you had all these people setting themselves up. Right? Calling themselves this, calling themselves that. When we're still in slavery. Isn't it interesting? So, now, if you know anything about that new name that's given that we're speaking about here in Revelation chapter 2, that links with um, Hebrews chapter 2, 16, Ishi. Because now people are going to go run an Ishi. Yep, we're going to blaze that out too. Because the Ishi... According to Hosea 2 and 16, is actually H367. Right? It's actually H367. It is not linked back to Yasha. But what is linked back to Yasha is, uh, I believe it's H3469. I'm going to get that in the next video in detail. But it links back to uh, the man named Ishi. That's what it links back to. This Ishi is talking about something completely different in uh, Hosea 2. But I'm going to get that more in detail a little later. So, let's see. Is there anything else I want to talk about in here right now? Uh, No, not really. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to get some more edification on this. We're going to touch on the uh, King James 1537 in the next videos. We're going to touch on the Zion events. We're going to touch on some more precepts. Um, we're going to link everything back to... Uh, um, Isaiah 7.14 and we're going to get uh, Isaiah 9 because that just the comments I heard on that there, when people can't prove anything they try to come with well why don't you just do this they ask a question like no you don't you don't prove something by asking another question. That's called, that's that's bringing confusion and deception. If someone says, you know, hey, well, I'm looking right here. I got proof. The name is Emmanuel. And they say, well, why don't you just call on wonderful? Why don't you just call on counselor? Why don't you just, why are you asking me the question? Tell me why. We don't call on that. Or tell me why we should. But I'll tell you why we shouldn't. Stick around. Shalom.